But I wonder what is going through Tim Davies' mind right now, because he staked a lot on what he called impartiality and its importance within the BBC. And I worry now that the cover has been blown, actually, on double standards, that when you use a word like impartiality, which everyone wants to get behind, which works both ways, it has to be fair. It cannot just be a cover for caving into political pressure from the government of the day. But Tim Davey flew to Washington just as this was taking off. It was, you know, he... And I got contacted from my old colleagues in D.C. saying, oh, my God, you know, can you believe it? Tim Davey's coming out to Washington. I said, he's not going to come with all this. He'll going be cancelling that. He'll be cancelling that on like a shot. Yeah. And again, I think that was showed a certain sort of degree of, oh, well, I can, we can do what we like. There'll be no problem. And then there is a ginormous problem that the BBC has and is not sure how to handle. And it's now left the most sulphurous mood inside Broadcasting House and in Salford and I've no doubt at Pacific Key where people are thinking, what the hell has happened? Yeah. And you've got this magnificently BBC outcome whereby I would imagine you've got Tory ministers, MPs, furious that having backed uh, Tim Davies' tough stance last week are now tearing their hair out that there's been capitulation. You've got BBC staff who are thinking, how on earth has this handled? You've got the Labour Party thinking you did this at the behest. So the BBC has managed to piss absolutely everybody off without exception. The News Agents. This is a Global Player original podcast. 